The session is about converting a finite automata into regular expression. And uh, of course, we know that the finite automata and regular expression are one and the same. Wherein this finite automation model, either NFA, DFA, or epsilon NFA, is a graphical way of representation. And the same, the algebraic way of representation is what is called as a regular expression. So, of course, the finite automata. If it is there, there should be an equivalent regular expression and vice versa. So the regular expression has obviously has to be converted into a DF. So in this session, we will try to see how to convert a most compact and unambiguous way of representing the finite automata, that is the deterministic finite automata, into a regular expression. There are a lot of methods available, but we specifically see state elimination method because that is most convenient for the beginners to work with. So when we look at state elimination, state elimination method, the name itself clearly states that the state the states of the finite automata are going to be eliminated. So what kind of states can we eliminate? That is the first question that comes to our mind. So obviously if we try to eliminate the start state, the automata won't be meaningful. In the final state if we start elimination, we don't know where we have to end up with in order to recognize what kind of language the automata supports. So the only state or the set of states that you can eliminate from an automata is nothing but the intermediate states that is not. So the concept here is that we will try to eliminate all the intermediate states that are available in a DFA one at a time See, so that we will be left out only with the start state and the final state. So when we left out with either only the start state and the final state, it will be very easy for us to express it as a regular expression. The concept goes like this. And this DFA clearly states the set of all possible edges that you can have. So assume this is your source state. The set of all Q states represents your source state. And the set of all P states ranging from P1 to Pm represents your final states. And assume that you have, this, this is the state S which is going to be eliminated now. So the set of all possible edges from these source states to these destination states are clearly being shown. See, the incoming edges are being denoted by means of the letters Q, wherein the outgoing edges are being represented by means of the edges P. If there is a self-loop, it will be represented by means of S. R is nothing but the regular expression written on the edge, which if possible is the edge from source state to the destination state without going through the state. So that is the case. And if you clearly look at, if I want to move myself from Q1 to P1, what are the possibilities? Either I can go through this by reading the edge R11 or else I can come to S by reading the edge Q1. I can repeat S any number of times and I can reach P1 by means of P. So what is the ultimate regular expression I get? It is nothing but R11. R. This plus is nothing but the R operator you know. The next possibility is Q1. I can come to S through Q1. I can repeat. I can be there in S for any number of times so that I will represent it by S star. I can go back that I will represent by P. So either this or this. So if any one of these things is not available, we don't need to worry. So if R11 is not available, this is only possible way. So by if you, if you are trying to eliminate S, yes, you should possibly have to list out all the possible uh, items on the edges and you have to look at. See, this is the resultant diagram we do have. After eliminating S yes, from Q1 to Q1, this is the regular expression. Similarly, from Q1 to Pm, this is the regular expression. So everywhere you have to write like this. So keeping uh, writing like this continuously will take you to a diagram of this kind. So once having done this, okay, this you have to do for one state at a time. So having completed this, you will be left out with only start state and your intermediate, sorry, final state. 
so there are two possible cases over here either the start state and the final state may look different so i'll be left out with automata of this type okay so after having eliminated all the intermediate states if the start state and final state of the automata are different we'll be left out with the automation of this type and these are the possible edges we do have so the, both the states can have self loops represented as r and u there may be an edge from s to f represented as s there may be a loop like this okay now how this expression comes this another question see how it comes i'll write it down just follow it up suppose start state is s now i am in s okay if i want to be there i can have an option to read r okay what else possibility is there to be in this state i can go through this edge repeat this any number of times come down through this edge t so that it be like yes u star i can repeat this any number of times i can come to the again to the start state by reading the edge t this you can do any number of times all right just follow it up it's very easy it's no, no need to memorize so i am going to start from s i want to be in s okay so what are the possible ways one way is to be in s itself through by reading an edge r the next way is you can go to final state by reading an edge s yes, followed by a self loop represented as u so that i have represented by means of u star then again i can come back to the start state by reading an edge t so this you can repeat any number of number of times so that i have embedded it and enclosed it with then this star clean closure anyway when will you say that a word has been accepted only if you reach this final state so how to reach the final state you have to go through this edge yes and you can be in the final state any number of times so that this particular regular expression we can arrive see if you look up this diagram these are the only possible edges you have no other edges can be there in a particular diagram the next possibility is like when the start and the final state are one and the same no issues we will have only one edge char what is a regular expression it is only r so hope you have understood the concept of state elimination so what we did is like identify the start state and the final states the rest of all states you are going to eliminate at a particular one at a particular time so after having eliminated we will be left out either with a single state automation like this or with a two state automation like this and you can write down the corresponding regular expression by using this formula okay so now i'll proceed with the looking at one example 